Hello. Seven years ago, I set up the Money and Mental Health Policy Institute charity. Happy birthday to it. I'm still very proud to be its chair because I believe it does incredible work and has had a real difference on trying to break the marriage made in hell that are the interlink between mental health issues and money issues. But we need your help. I need to be really honest with you. We need your help if you have had experience of mental health problems or somebody close to you have. The charity does amazing work. We have real impact on policies in the real world. We got the introduction of breathing space, which means that those in NHS crisis mental health care can no longer have debt companies chasing them. We got a change to the way debt letters are structured so they're less scary and more point about where you can get help rather than trying to give you the fear of going to court. We got GPs to stop charging for the mental health and debt evidence form when you needed to prove to your lender that you had mental health problems and you were in crisis financial problems, you had to pay for it. That's gone and so many more things. So what do I want you to do? Well, we have 5,000 members of our research community. They give us feedback on policy ideas and also tell us the real practical problems that they're facing. And we need more of you to join. We need as many people to feed into this process as possible so that we can get more change. And it isn't just about helping us. Members of the community tell us they get an amazing experience by doing it too. As somebody who's faced mental health problems, I want my voice to be part of the solution to money problems and mental health problems. And I can do that by being part of the research community. I can use my voice, which can be translated into research, which can be translated into a policy recommendation, which can be put in front of the government and enact real legal change or policy change that has a tangible and valuable positive impact in people's lives. When you're going through therapy and things, it's all about telling your story and learning other ways of telling your story. And so in some ways, being part of the research community um, adds a layer to that. It changes, your, it actually changes your narrative a bit because you discover you're not the, if you're asking those questions, it means I'm not the only person who's had problems with my insurance company or got into debt or has issues with cost of living or any of those things. It's a question to a bigger group of people. So you almost have a sense of belonging. So overwhelmingly for me probably the biggest thing is it was like you're not alone actually you're not alone there's hundreds or thousands or millions of other people going through similar challenges and you've also got with money and mental health and uh, and and the uh, uh, the group there um you've got people who are going through similar stuff who are actually helping to support and educate all the financial institutions um, to actually do better. So if you've had a mental health issue or someone you love and is close to you has and you'd like to feed in, please join the research community. And I'm going to be really honest with you. There's a few areas where we're short of people. We don't represent them as well as we would like. Men, members of ethnic minorities and younger people. So if you happen to be a young ethnic minority male, please sign up to the research community because we would love your feedback. But absolutely everybody is welcome. Thank you very much for your time. Do have a look and you'll find more information about signing up on the website. And a final happy birthday Money and Mental Health Policy Institute. Not the snappiest title, but you do great work.